Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm back with my 2023 Bears replay. And as you can see, we're 3-0. and And let's take a look at that 3-0 and because it's an impressive 3-0. and We knocked off Green Bay in Game 1 by the score of 38-17 relatively easily. Then we went on the road to Tampa Bay and beat them 30-27 to in OT. And then we beat the world champion Kansas City Chiefs 31-14 relatively easily again. And today we are going to be back in Chicago taking on Denver. Now, in real life, the um, Chicago Bears not only lost these first four games of the season and were 0-4, but we lost to Denver by the score of 31-28. It was a good game but we still lost the game. And so we go into this game 3-0 and instead and with a chance to beat the Denver Broncos. Now let's take a look at the Denver Broncos because we want to take a look at their defense and see what we should be doing. So you've got that. You go to the team. You go to the um, notebook. And we can see that they are poor against the pass and average to poor against the run. So I guess it really doesn't matter what we do, so we are going to get on with the week. And uh, as you can see right here, manual, it's got our game ready to go after they play the other games of the week. We will play one week only. And we will get the results of what happens here. Now Denver is also coming into this game curiously 3-0. and So. One of us is going to have our first loss of the season. Chicago having scored 99 points and allowed 58, which is really good. Denver having scored 58 points and allowed 27. Somehow just 27 points in three games. I don't know how that defense got away with that, but we are going to get into our game right now. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, launch it. And I am going to defer the kickoff, as I would always do. So we're going to kick off now, and we will receive in the second half, and we're kicking off to Denver. Here you've got the window that will tell you what the player who was involved in the latest play is doing on the day. And we're going to start off with my, well, first of all, let's go over the offense and the defense. The offense for um uh, Denver and our defense. So the offense will be flanker Jerry Judy. At uh, tight end will be Adam Troutman. The right tackle is Mike McGlinchey. The right guard is Quinn Minerez. Uh, the uh, the center is Lloyd Cushenberry. The left guard is Ben Powers. The left tackle is Garrett Bowles. Second tight end will be Lucas Cruel. At split end, they've got Cortland Sutton. Sutton, and at running back, they're going to have Javon Williams. The quarterback will be Russell Wilson. Now, Russell Wilson last year he attempted 447 passes for a 66.4 completion percentage and only 1.8 interception percentage. So it's questionable that we could rely on him to throw an interception in this game. Left end will be Montez Sweat. The left tackle for us will be Justin Jones. At right tackle we'll have Andrew Billings. At right end we'll have Demarcus Walker. At left linebacker we've got Jack Sanborn. Middle linebacker we have Tremaine Edmonds. At right linebacker we have TJ Edwards. Out at left cornerback we have Jalen Johnson. Strong safety is Wakan Brisker. Free safety is Eddie Jackson. And the right cornerback is Tyreek Stevenson. So we're going to put in the balanced to begin. We do that almost every game. And uh, they're running the ball, and we got them in the backfield. Nice. Well, that was pretty sweet. We got them in the backfield. So they will have a, uh, we're going to, you know what, I'm going to put in the balanced again. 
This time he is passing, and we get him after a pickup of uh, six yards. So they're going to have a third and five coming up. Third and five for Denver. Going to put in the pass easily. And there's going to be a penalty, and it looks like it might be on them. Illegal procedure being called against Denver, yes. So, uh, they have a third and ten now, and we are going to definitely put in the pass and look for him to pass the ball, for Wilson to pass it. And it's incomplete. It sails over everybody's head for an incomplete pass. So they're going to punt, I would assume. We'll put in the punt return. Nice start for our defense. 13-29 left in the first quarter as we return this punt. And we made him lose yards, too. I am going to try to return it. And it only we only get maybe a yard on the return. No, it was a fair catch, even. So, uh, here we go. We're going to start off with a line buck with Herbert. Remember, they're average to poor. Ooh, we, we moved on the play. God. Now, remember, they have an average to poor defense against the run and poor against the pass. So, we have a first and 15. I am going to go long. We're going to go long here to Mooney. Let's see what happens if we do that. That looks pretty good, and it is! It's nice, Fields. Fields hits Mooney in stride for 30 yards. Now, we want to keep the computer off balance here, so I'm going to go off tackle with Herbert. We have a first and 10, and that was a nice little pickup there. Nice and uh, first and 10 at the Denver... 41, this will be second down, and um, second down and seven. I'm going to go short to Tunyon. I'm going to do a short pass to Robert Tunyon. And we hit him, and he catches it. Robert Tunyon. The reliable Robert Tunyon for 10 yards. And we're just moving on this Denver defense, which I would have expected, but... Then again, they've only given up 27 points in three games, so I don't know how that's happening. We're going to go line buck with Herbert. And, oh, yeah, the center moved. The center of all people moved. So that's going to back us up. Uh, first and 15 at the 33. Let's go off tackle with Herbert, and let's hope we don't go off sides again. Ooh, nice run by Herbert. Nice, nice, nice run. He almost got the first down. Ran 14 yards on that one. Rambling, scrambling, running down the field. Uh, we're going to... Let me change out Herbert. And we're going to change to uh, Deonta Foreman. And now I'm going to go line buck with Foreman. We don't want to wear anybody out, and we only need the first down, which was a yard away, and he got it. So we pick up three on that, and we want to keep the, you know, we want to manja on the clock a little bit here. So three yards for Foreman, and we're going to go look in pass to Mooney. And he's back, Fields is back looking, and he's, ah, God. He cannot complete pass this guy. All right. I'm not even going to say it. So, uh, yeah, we've got a second and 10 at the Denver 16. Let's go end run with Herbert. He gets out on the end pretty cleanly, and he got four or five yards on that. Yeah, five-yard pickup. Not too bad. All right, uh, we're going to, let's see, third and five. I'm going to go short pass to Moore. Oh, we get sacked. We got to kick a field goal. Fourth down. We lost seven yards on the sack there, so we're going to have to kick the field goal. 
Uh, I hope Santos makes this. He has he has missed one that was a chip shot in one of the earlier games, but he seems to make the long ones. But this one, it's up and good, and we're up three nothing. So we got a three nothing lead. Our three and O Bears do, and we're going to kick off. And it looks like they're going to take the touchback, and they do. I'm going to go with the balanced again. And uh, Russell is back to pass. Russell Wilson, and we get him after six yards, I think. Yep, so they got a second and four. I'm going to... Who do they have? They got Burton at running back and Williams. You know what? I am going to run and key on Williams. Oh, he's going to pass. That's not good news. And we get him just after he gets the first down. So he picks up the five yards he needed for the first. And Denver keeps moving the ball. Let's go back to balance. The balance defense, we used it against Kansas City to great effect. So I want to keep seeing if it works against Denver. Um, but uh, yeah, right there, it didn't work very well. Picked up uh, Jerry, Jerry Judy, got 13 yards on the reception. So I'm going to go to the pass. Let's go to the pass. And uh, yeah, Russell Wilson, we flushed him from the pocket. Can we get him? We do get him. He gets about five yards, though. Four yards. So he's got a second and six coming up. They are just into our territory, so they got a second and sixth. Chicago 47, 635 left in the first quarter. I'm going to just look for the run. Oh, he's passing again. God. But he overthrows his receiver, which is awesome. <laughs> he was looking for Judy on the bomb, and he overthrew him. So, uh, yeah, we've got a third and six. Now I'm looking for the pass, and I am going to double cover Judy. Oh, he completed the pass. Was that to Judy? No, that was over to Humphreys. So he gets the first down, though. So he keeps the chains moving. Going to go back to balanced. He runs the ball, and we will not get it. Well, we do get him, but not until he gets like seven yards. So it's going to be second and three for Denver. 523 left in the first quarter. I am going to look for the run, and we're going to key on Williams. He does run the ball. Is that Williams? Because we got him. Yeah, it was, but he only got two yards. He only got two yards, but, I mean, they were only three yards away. So I think we're going to... I think we're going to go... Yeah, we're going to go 4-3, and we're going to look for the run. And if he doesn't run it, then he doesn't run it. I mean, you know, so be it. And it's intercepted, and I'm going to try to return that bad boy. How did we do that? Okay, try to gain some yards, hell yeah. How did we intercept a guy with a 1.8 interception percentage? I don't even know. And this is a hell of an interception return here. This is crazy. This might be an interception, a pick six. We might have a, no, we're not going to have a pick. We do. We have a pick six. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We picked off the main man, Russell, um, uh, whatever, Russell Wilson. Man. Yeah, we're going to kick the extra point, and then uh, this should put us up 10 nothing. And it does. We could be 4-0. and oh. I'm, This is just craziness. It's craziness. This game is not playing the way it should be playing, you would think. Although, again, I have the Bears' final defense in this for this entire season, which includes, like, Montez Sweat being on our team when he wasn't on the team until, like, late in the season. 
So that's probably got quite a bit to do with it, I would imagine. But he gets a 23-yard return, and uh, yeah, I'm going to look for the pass. He is back to pass, and it's incomplete. So they've got a second and ten. He was looking for Cortland Sutton, Sutton on the curl there, and he didn't get it. I'm going to look for the pass again. I mean, if he wants to run the ball with me up ten, I'll, you know, so be it. And we get him just before he gets the first down, but he's only a yard away, so that's not very good. I, I doubt we'll stop him, but who knows. I'm going to look for the run. I'm going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on Williams. And he, he does run, and we get him in the backfield. He may have to punt. This is crazy. This is crazy, people. All right, well, I mean, this is a crazy good defense that I just am not used to seeing for the Bears. So he is punting. And I am going to try to return it. And that's going to be, there's going to be a penalty on the play. Let's see who that's against. It might be against us for clipping or something. Chicago's flag for an illegal block. And and Denver declines the penalty. All right. I mean, you know. All right, so I'm going to go line buck with Foreman. I mean, really, all I need to do is just eat the clock and hold the ball. Well, he gets caught in the backfield, though, so. We're not going to hold the ball much longer if he, we keep losing yards. All right, we're going to go flat pass to commit. That's going to be a penalty on the play on us, I would imagine. Yep. So we've got a third and 21. Now we're going to go short pass to Moore because I do want to try to make this up. Oh, 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 ah! Oh, we came up just short. And I cannot go for a fourth and five this uh, deep in our end. I mean, we just can't do that. But at least he completed it and gave us some room for the punt. And so we will punt the ball away. Denver not able to do anything here as the first quarter starts to come to an end. We've stopped them. <laughs> we've stopped them twice on downs, and we intercepted Russell Wilson once. So, uh, yes, 28 seconds left. <clears throat> I'm going to put in the balanced defense. He runs the ball, and he gets it through a tight opening in, in the line and gains six yards. So they're going to have a second and four. And I'm going to put in the run. And he uh, he does run it, but he gets he gets the yards. Even though we were looking for the run, he got five yards. Now, one um, little uh, bit of uh, consternation I have here. He is in our territory now. But one consternation bit that I have going on here is uh, in every other game, we started out losing the game. Okay, he probably got a penalty there. False start being called against Denver. We uh, we started out losing, I think, every one of the past three games and ended up winning. And this time, it looks like it's just too easy for us and we're out ahead. And uh, so, you know, that's a different formula, which is not necessarily all that good. So on a first and 15, he picked up uh, 10 yards. So he's going to have a second and five coming up. Second and five, I'm going to look for the run. Oh, we're offsides. And he probably will decline that because he got some good yards on it. So, yeah. So they decline it, and they've got a first and 10 at our 26. I'm going to put in the balanced again. He runs the ball again through a tight opening, and he gets eight yards. Seven or eight on that. Yep. So he's going to have a second and two. 
We're into the second quarter, though, and we got a 10 nothing lead. Uh, second and two, I am going to look for the run and key on... Uh, okay, we're going to key on... We're locked into keying on Perrin. I can't switch. Um, he does run the ball, but he gets the first down. So we get him right at the marker after he gets the two yards he needed. So, uh, yeah, that was Perrine, but um, let's, look, let's look for the run again and key on Perrine. And we do, and he does get the yards still. I mean, this guy is getting some yards when we're keying on him. He got four yards right there, so they've got a second and six. So, second and six, I'm going to look for the pass. Just going to look for the general pass. There might be a penalty on Denver. I don't know, but it could be on us, too. Who knows? We get him at the two-yard line, but let's see what happened with the penalty. Because I didn't happen to notice if it was us or not. And uh, penalty, except they're going to accept the penalty. So, it's a first and goal to one. Uh, I'm going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on Perrin, Perrine, Perrine. I don't know what you call him. That's incomplete, looks like. So the longer, I mean, that's we just want to make Wilson take long, make the Broncos take longer to score. Uh, I'm going to look for the run and key on Perrine again. And uh, that time, whoever it was ran it in, and we were looking for the run. McLaughlin, I was keying on the wrong guy. So he gets the touchdown, and they are going to kick the uh, extra point output in the kick block. And uh, they make it 10-7. So it's 10-7 Denver. Now remember, we're going to get the ball to start the second half. So if we could get a drive here and get anything, any kind of points, would be awesome. We're going to take the touchback. I am going to go short pass to Moore on first down. And it's incomplete. Come on, Fields. Come on. I'm going to go line buck with Herbert. And he goes right up the middle, and he's going to get the first down and a little bit more. Nice. We needed that. 13-yard run by Herbert. So Herbert on the day has four rushes for 35 yards, an 8.8-yard .8 average. Let's go flat to commit. Just got to keep the ball. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Get some points. Any kind of points. He hits Komet in stride for seven yards. Six yards. So we've got a second and four. I'm going to go line buck with Herbert. He goes right up the middle and he gets the first down and we're in business. We're moving the ball here. We are now in Denver territory. First and ten at, well, all right, we're at midfield. I'm going to do a look-in pass to Scott. And I think he might have caught it. Yep, four yards, so we got a second and six. Still moving that ball, moving the rock. Let's go end run with Herbert. Oh, there's going to be a penalty, hopefully on him, although we did get the first down. He gets six yards. Now, this is a penalty-riddled game. We've usually played... <clears throat> All right, we've got a second and 16. Let's go short to Scott. We've usually played a penalty-free game in most of these games. All right, we've got uh, Fields on his own on the run, and he's going to get a lot of those yards on the must-run being flushed from the pocket. 
He runs for 12 yards. And, you know, that's what we're looking for when he's right. So, third and four. I'm going to go, I'm going to take a chance here, go line buck with Herbert. And he's, oh my God, another penalty. Aren't any of these penalties going to be on Denver? My God. All right, third and 14. Got to go short again if we're going to have any chance of getting a first down. So, let's snap the ball. Uh, looks like he's going to be out on his own again, although that isn't necessarily bad, but they close quickly and they get him. All right, I'm going to have to try a coffin corner punt here because we are not going to go for this. Uh, fourth and five at the Denver 45. I'm going to do a coffin corner, and we're going to punt it. And he's going to have it at the nine. So we'll make him go in to go to work at from his own nine yard line with 643 left, 626 left in the half. I'm going to look for the pass. He runs the ball. Of course he does. But we, he only gets two or three on that. Three yards. So yeah, not bad. It could have been worse. I'm going to look for the run again. I'm just going to put in the run though. Uh, he runs it right up the middle, but we only stop him like a yard and a half short of the first down. So it's third and two. I'm going to look for the run and Keon Williams. And, uh, man, whoever that was ran right up the middle for a lot of yards. Williams, I keyed on him, and he got 11 yards. Thank you. All right, um, 4.59 left. I'm going to look. I'm going to put in the pass defense, just the plain old pass defense. And he is passing. And we still don't stop him until he gets 11 yards, 12 yards. So first and 10 at their own 40. I'm going to look. I'm going to look for the pass again. He is passing. And he does pass it over his receivers out just off of his fingertips and doesn't get him for the first down or for really even any yards. Second and 10, we're going to look for the pass again. This time he's running the ball, but we get him in the backfield. I think we got him in the backfield. He got no, he, he, yeah, minus one yard. So they have a third and 11. Going to pass and double team Judy. I'm going to look for the pass and double team Judy. And we're going to say, oh, we're going to recover a fumble maybe. I'm going to I'm going to try to pick up the ball and run with it. Oh, we fumbled again. I knew that would happen. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. My god. Well, we did back him up. But my God, oh, I should have done that. I got greedy. First and 10 at the Denver 28 for them. I'm going to look for the pass. 252 left. He is passing and we get him right there. He catches the ball after five or six and we get him right there. Four yards, just four. All right, nice. Uh... Let's go. We're going to look for the pass again. He runs the ball this time. And this time he gets a lot of yards on that run. Our defense is holding up pretty good, though. I got to say, all in all, I'm not totally unhappy with our defense. First and 10 at our 47. I'm going to look for the pass. 
Wilson is back to pass. He's looking. He's looking. Uh, and it we knocked the ball away. So it's incomplete. Uh, we're going to look for the pass again. This time, maybe, yes, he was offsides. All right, so it's on him, finally. So he's got a second and 15. We're going to look for the pass again. There's only a minute 52 left in the uh, half. And he catches the ball. His receiver catches it, but we get him right there after a after a uh, four-yard gain. So he's going to have a third and 11, and we're looking for the pass. I'm going to pass, and we're going to double-team Judy. And now he's out on the run. He's out on the run. Doesn't look like, I don't know what he's doing. He's going to get the first down, though. No, he won't. No, he won't. And I think we got him in bounds. And that's too far for a field goal, I think. Maybe. He has a fourth and two, and he's going to go for it. Um, yeah, he's going to go for it. I'm going to look for the. I'm going to look for the run. And he does run. And we still don't manage to get him until he gets like a ton of yards. 15 yard gain. Now he's in field goal range. He can tie the game. And we might be looking at it at um, possibly a tie game. 45 seconds left. I am going to look for the pass. Uh, looks like he might have been offsides or a false start or something. It was incomplete though. No, it was on, I don't know, maybe it was offsetting. So anyway, um, I'm going to look for the pass. He is going to pass, and he does, and he gets out of bounds. He still has two timeouts though. So, uh, second and one, I'm going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on parrying. And he passes it, and it's incomplete. So now he has a third and one. And he's on third and one, 22 seconds left, he's going to try to kick it. So we'll put in the kick block. We'll see if we can block this thing. We can't. So he does tie the game, and it looks like it'll be 10-10 at the half. It could be worse, though. Now, with only 15 seconds left in the half and us getting the ball at the outset of the second half, I am just going to do a benign running play and eat the rest of the clock. Yeah. So we're going to go line buck with Foreman. And he gets some pretty good yards. But anyway, that should be the end of the half. He picked up four yards on that. And that is going to be the half. And after he kicks off and we're set, I will look at our first half statistics. Which aren't going to be eye-popping. I mean, the score is only 10-10. Uh, we're going to run with the ball. It's a pretty good return. If he didn't uh, pick up a fumble, but it didn't say that we fumbled. So, yeah, he got 28 yards on that. So, uh, let's look at the, the halftime statistics. You've got the box score that we can look at. Russell Wilson was 13 of 21 passing for 110 yards and an interception. Fields was 5 of 7 passing for 66 yards. Uh, Javante Williams rushed it 10 times for 60 yards. 
Perrine rushed it four times for 19 yards. Russell Wilson rushed twice for 13. And Jaleel McLaughlin rushed twice for seven yards. For us, Herbert ran it five times for 41 yards. Deonta Foreman ran it three times for six. And Fields twice for 21. So we are going to go... Um, I'm going to try my old end run with Fields. Let's see what that does for us. He's going to try to break to the outside, and he's moving it upfield. He did get some yards. He got some yards. That's not too bad. Uh, he got five, so we've got a second and five coming up. We're going to go line buck with Johnson. He runs it right up the middle, and he gets some good yards. We're right there now. He picks up four. We've got a third and one. I'm going to do a line buck with Fields. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on the play. We got the first down, but there is probably a false start on us. I, I'm really, I, I don't understand why all of a sudden we've got tons of penalties. We have a third and 11 now. So now uh, that changes the complete complexion of it. We got to do a short pass to Mooney. And he misses him, so we're going to have to punt. That changed the whole complexion of that drive, that penalty. And like I said, our other games, we've been relatively, if you've watched them, we've been relatively penalty-free in the other games. But this one, for some reason, we have penalties all the time on every drive. So we're punting the ball away. 10-10 uh, game here with 13-11 left in the uh, third quarter. And he gets a good return. He's going to have good, really good field position. A 49-yard punt and a 19-yard return by him. I'm going to look for the pass on first down. He does pass. And it's intercepted again. We picked him off again. You cannot. <laughs> We're going to try to gain some yards. I really shouldn't again. But I don't. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Why does that always happen? Why do we always fumble the interception on the return or a fumble on the return? Oh, God. So we backed him up again. I'm, all right, I, that's it. I'm done doing that. If we ever get a turnover again, I'm just going to um, I'm just gonna fall on it. He, get, he picks up six yards. Oh, man, I am so frustrated. I mean, all the penalties and the mistakes, the turnovers on turnovers. I'm going to put in the balanced. He's got a second and four coming up. He passes the ball, and it looks like it's incomplete. Okay, it is. So he has a third and four. I'm looking for the pass. I'm just going to look for the pass. I'm not going to key on anybody. We're just looking for the pass. And uh, he gets it. He gets the first down. God. I really hate to lose to Denver after all the teams we've beaten. But anyway, I'm going to look for the run. He does run the ball. And despite the fact that we were looking for it, he still gets four or five on that. Five yards. So, a second and five, we're going to look for the run again. Now he's passing, and he looks like he's trying to pass downfield long. And it's incomplete, so he's got a third and five. If we could stop him here, um, he would be too far out of field goal range. We're going to look for the pass, not going to double team anybody. He is passing. Oh, and he hits his receiver for the first down. Jerry Judy, the guy I would have double covered. I mean, all of the the would have, should have, could have. Man, this team, this game could be so much different right now. I'm gonna look for the pass. I mean, he's got me off my game now. He only gets uh, two yards on that. Looks like three. So he's got a second and seven coming up. I'm going to look for the, uh, uh, 
I'm going to look for the pass. It doesn't look like he's got a really good running back back there. McLaughlin is not his main man. And we do get him. We get the receiver before he gets a first down, but he's now only got like a third and uh, two coming up. I'm going to look for the run. I'm going to look for the run in Keon Williams. And we stop. I think we stopped him before the first down. Nice. But he can kick a field goal from there. Ooh, he's going for it. Fourth and one, he's going for it. Are you crazy? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run, and Keon Williams. Ooh, ooh, I think he was offside or a false start or something. Not to mention we got him in the backfield. Yep. So now he'll kick the field goal. I'm going to put in the kick block. Let's see if we can block it. He does miss it! <laughs> oh, yes! He missed the field goal. So it's still 10 all. Man, this is a tight game. I'm going to go long on first down. I'm going long to more. That's what we're doing. How do you like it? Oh, I don't like it. Oh, God, that was a lot of yards lost right there. All right, we're going to go short, short to more. And he gets the pass out, and that's for good yards. That's nice. I mean, it was probably, his, I think it was his outlet guy, but he got six yards. And let's try another short pass, although really, yeah, third and 17, let's try another short. This time to Mooney. Looks like he's going to do a must run. Must run! And he only got like three or four yards on that. So, four yards, we're going to have a fourth and whatever, and we're going to punt. Fourth and 13 from our own 34. I'm punting the ball away with 6.17 left in the third quarter in a 10-10 game. Ooh, that's going to be... Ah, oh, it went into the end zone a little too far. It went into the end zone. I thought maybe it might stop before it got there, but it was a nice 60-yard punt. Okay, we're going to look for the... I'm going to go back to my balanced defense. He's got some guys that are tiring. And we do... He hits his receiver, but we get him... We drop him after just a gain of four yards. So we're going to look for the balanced again. Second and six. And he runs the ball. And we do get him right before the first down, but he's only got a third and one coming up. So I am going to look for the run, and we're going to key on Williams. And I don't know who that was, but whoever, it was Devontae Williams, and we keyed on him, and he got three yards. Denver is, i got to say, Denver is the toughest team we've played so far. I mean, it's, it's crazy to think, but they are the toughest team we've played so far. And that's going to be a touchdown. No, it isn't. But we, we get him after a lot of yards. 13-yard pickup or something. 14. So he's moving the ball. He's still on his end of the field, but he's moving the ball pretty good. First and 10, they're 46. I'm going to look for the pass. He is passing, and he does pass to an outlet guy, his running back. Screen pass type thing. And, uh, yeah, screen left, and uh, he gets 14 yards on it. So we need something good to happen again. I'm going to look for the pass. He runs the ball. Instead, we, only, we get him after like four or five, five yards. So he's got a second and five. 3.55 left in the third quarter. 
I'm going to look for it. I'm going to put in the balanced. He's passing. We get his guy again right before the first down marker, but that doesn't really help us a lot because he only has to get a yard. Or he could kick a field goal. I'm going to look for the run, and we're going to key on Williams. And no, it's, it's Russell Wilson, it looked like. Yeah. On the sneak, and he got three yards. The only good thing here is he's using a lot of time. I'm going to put in the balanced. And we stop him after he gets to like seven yards. Six. So he's got a second and four. Second and four, I'm going to put in the run. Just going to put in the run. And he runs it, and we get him right at the first down marker. I mean, I guess looking at the good side of it, he's taking a lot of time to score when whatever he ends up getting. And whatever he ends up getting, we can get it and tie the game. So uh, I'm going to put in the pass on first down down here. He runs the ball instead, and we do get him, but again, he gets like six yards on that. So second and four. I'm going to put, you know what, I'm going to put in the run. It looks like he's going to run, and I'm going to key on McLaughlin. But he passes the ball, and it's going to be a touchdown. So we're going to have to match with a touchdown if we want to tie this game. Third quarter nearly over, so he used almost the rest of the third quarter. I'm going to put in the kick block. And it's up and good, so we need a touchdown to tie the game. It's 17-10 Denver. So he kicks off. Essentially, we're at the end of the third quarter. we got to get something going here. I am going to run with the ball. I don't think you really have much of a choice. You can't take the ball to one. So we get it out to the 29. Be first and 10 at the 29. I'm going to go flat to Mooney. And the thing is, we don't want to get carried away. We don't want to get out of our game plan. And he does hit Mooney. Nice. Five-yard pickup. We don't want to get away from our game plan. We don't want to get, um, you know, desperate. I'm going to go line buck with Foreman. Uh, he didn't get hardly anything on that. One yard. So we got a third and four. This is going to be key. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go off tackle with Herbert. He's bad against the run. And yes, it paid off. And I didn't think he would be looking for the run. So and he wasn't. And Fields just cannot be trusted to pass to throw these like high percentage passes. I'm gonna do a look in pass to Mooney. And it's incomplete. He throws it just in the middle of the field and then nobody. Let's go short pass to Moore. And he does hit him, and he's going to get a lot of yards on this. A lot of yards, people. A lot of yards. Maybe even a tie game. No. No, he's caught right at the end. Oh, my God. 52-yard pickup, though. So we got a first and goal at the 7. I'm going to go line buck with Foreman. And he's going to go in, and we tie the game. Foreman, nice run. Remember, the Denver defense is not very good. It's not good against passes or um, um, or runs. So we're, we did tie the game. That's the good news. The bad news is Denver has moved this ball pretty well on us lately. 
So 12.35 left in the game. We're kicking off. And he's going to take the touchback, it looks like. And he's got a first and 10 at his own 25. I am going to put in the balanced defense. Hits his uh, receiver, his running back, out of the backfield, and he gets a lot of yards again. 15 yards on this. Come on. I'm going to put in the balanced defense. He runs the ball, and we get him after like a five-yard gain. So he's got a second and five. Second and five at the 45. I'm going to look for the run and Keon Williams. And that's got to be Williams, and yet we just get him after like a three-yard pickup again not very good because now he only needs two yards. Third and two, I'm going to look for the run and the key on Williams. He's passing, which is potentially good if it's incomplete, but it isn't. He hits his receiver three yards over the line, so that's a five-yard pickup. And now he's in our territory. First and 10 at our 47. Going to look for the pass. He runs it. So he gets three yards on that. Now that's not bad. We weren't looking for the run and he only got three yards. But when he gets three yards and we're looking for the run and keying on the guy, I don't like that. Put in the balance on uh, second and seven. He is passing. He hits his receiver, and he's going to get a lot of yards. Then now he's in probably the outlier of uh, field goal range. So the same thing applies. Whatever he scores here, if he scores, we just have to get the same thing to tie the game. Or better, if he gets a field goal, we can get a touchdown. I'm going to look for the pass. Ooh, we're offsides. And he will definitely accept that penalty. All the penalties, again, I don't understand this. We've had way more We probably had more penalties in this game alone than we had combined in the first three games. I'm going to put in the balanced on first and five. And we're going to sack Wilson. That was big. We needed that. We needed that hugely because now it's even questionable that he's in field goal range. So he's got a second and 14. I'm looking for the pass, and I'm just going to look for the general pass. Oh, he's got another penalty for a false start. Great. Let's back him up. Back him up. Second and 19. We're going to look for the pass. He runs the ball. Oh, are you kidding me? He got the first down. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh my god. I can't believe this. This is really frustrating. We've got a team that we can beat with a bad defense and we're in a we're in a death grip struggle with them. I'm going to look for the pass. I mean, you might have known that would have Ooh, ooh, fumble. I'm just going to fall on it. I'm not going to be an idiot this time. We're just going to fall on it. Oh wait, did he get it back? Maybe he got it back. He might have gotten it back. Yeah, he did. All right, he's got a second and 11. I'm going to look for the pass. God. I was all ready to do the right thing, too. All right, well, we got him. We hit him. Short of the first down. He only got four yards on that. He's got a field goal, though. He's in field goal range. I'm going to look for the pass. He is passing, and he's passing, and we got him right at the marker. God, people, please stop him. Seven-yard gain. I mean, it's getting late. 
It's you know because we don't have an offense that can go right down the field. I'm gonna put in the balanced defense. We need a mistake. Well, there he gets only a yard. Zero yards. He gets just back to the line of scrimmage. So he's got a second and goal from the nine. From yeah, the nine. I'm gonna look for the run. He does run the ball, and we do get him in the backfield or at the line of scrimmage. Zero yards again. So yeah. And only 558 left. I am gonna look for the pass. You would think he's got a pass here. He's offsides or a uh, false start or whatever, but that's still going to put him in field goal range. Um, third and goal from the 14. I'm going to look for the pass. And uh, that time we might he might have caught it, but we got him right there. So a loss of four. So now he's got a field goal try. Probably will make it. I don't see him not making it, but we're going to put in the kick block anyway. And, uh, yeah, he, it's up and good. So he's up 2017. The good news, we only have to get into field goal range to tie the game. The bad news, we, don't, we haven't really moved the ball much lately. Five minutes left. That's what we're looking at. We have five minutes left. I'm going to run with the ball. And he just gets back to the 20. So that's not even good field position, really. I'm going to do a short pass to Mooney. Oh, he gets sacked! You can't do that, Fields! Oh, my God. Denver, unbelievable. They're playing unbelievable defense here. All right, short to Mooney. Oh, that's going to be probably on us. Oh, all right, so if I accept the penalty, we have the ball first and 10 on our 37. I'm going to do that. All right, we're going to go short. To more. And uh, Fields runs the ball. What an idiot, and he fumbles it. But it looks like we recovered the fumble. Got a first. No, we didn't even recover the fumble. Oh, my God. That's it. That's it. We lost. 317 left. We lost this game. Yeah, he should be running the ball now. So he just wants to eat the clock. God, all the mistakes, all the penalties. Denver again playing defense like they should not be playing defense. I'm going to look for the run. That's what he does. He loses two yards. Third and eight, I'm going to look for the pass. We get him before the first down, but this is a long field goal. He'll probably try the field goal, but it's a long one. No, no, he's going for it on fourth and four. No, he isn't. All right, good. All right, we're going to do the the kick block. Hopefully he doesn't make this field goal. But he does. So now we need a touchdown because he's up 23-17. And we need a touchdown with only two minutes left. I'll be shocked if we can get a touchdown. We're going to take the touchback, which is even worse. We don't even get a good return. We're going to go long to the split end. He's doing an outlet. 
And then the guy's going to run, make a beeline for the sidelines. Maybe he got out. I don't know. Second and two. We're going to go long. We got to go long. We got to get down the field. Fields throws it, launches it, and he's going to miss his receiver. Not shockingly. Well, we got to get the first down, so. Um, going to go line buck with Herbert. Because we have to keep the ball and keep it moving. But Herbert just breaks through and gets a lot of good yards right there. 20-yard run for Herbert. And we will call timeout. And uh, minute 30 left. Going to go short to more. Fields out on his own, out on the run. Making a beeline. He gets the first down, but he gets tackled in bounds. Gets an 11 yard run. Gotta call the timeout. Minute 22 left. Gotta try the long pass. First and 10 at the 36. That's going to be incomplete or intercepted. Even worse. Well, we tried. I mean, this was, it was a valiant try. I can't believe we lost to Denver. He takes a knee, so yeah, they're doing the victory formation. Uh, so, so frustrating. And that's it. Game over. We lost 23-17. I'll take a look at the uh, reports, the uh, box score. Uh, first loss of the year to Denver. I mean, we did lose to Denver in real life, and we got killed. Well, no, we didn't. We, we It was a close game, and this was a close game, too. But we both scored a lot more points in real life. Wilson was 30 of 41, 226 yards, a touchdown, and two interceptions. And Fields was 10 of 16 for 147 yards and an interception. And I'll let you, I'm just so frustrated, I'll just let you look at the receiving and rushing stats. Um, just a very frustrating loss for the first loss of the year. Uh, uh, just really. And we're going to take a look at the standings now and see how they line up, just because you might want to know. We're 3-1, and one. Detroit's right behind us at 2-2. Two and two. And uh, our next game, which I will televise, will be against Washington. Now, in real life, we beat Washington, so we better beat Washington. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.